Meanwhile, today in court, they offered to drop all charges uh, for both of these cases. Well, we're going to get right back to the case in a minute, but let me tell you something. Uh, I travel these courts throughout New England, and I see a lot of crazy things. Like this judge, who allowed me in her courtroom for 20 minutes, then had a hissy fit uh, when she saw that the certain defense was being presented that she didn't like, and then now she hates me because I've got 12,000 people seeing how rude she was to me in the first instance. Let's recap, shall we? So please put the camera down now, or I'll have my court officer confiscate it. Your Honor, why are you yelling at me? The Supreme Court clearly states I can do that. Your own doorway says I could do that. You're doing it to me, and I checked with your clerk. And I'm also going to wonder what made you run out of the courtroom like that today. You were in such a haste. I am collapsing the CQV trust, okay, we will take a brief which, you have, which you have charged. So based on her hatred of my coverage before, she denied my access this time, which is a uh, crock. <laughs> Judge Crocker, because if you wouldn't do it to WMUR, you're not going to do it to me. Wait till that transcript comes out, the one in which I threatened to sue you. That one. We're here with KingCast.net, and we're here with the man they call uh, John Ingress uh, at the Milford District Court. There are a couple of traffic cases pending, and we've been checking on those cases. Uh, apparently, one of the issues for one of the cases that has the uh, preponderance of charges is the um, police officer has moved to Texas. There are motions filed about that. They want to introduce uh, his testimony via uh, teleconference, but the case law that they cited is all about you know bail hearings. And so, uh, Attorney David Al, who is or was representing uh, the man they call John Ingress, objected to that, and he said, you know, bail hearings are not trials. So <laughs> that's still out there pending. Meanwhile, today in court, they offered to drop all charges uh, for both of these cases as long as Mr. Ingress obtains a valid driver's license. Mr. Ingress's position, however, is that uh, he is not inv involved or engaged in commerce, as Rod Class has discussed, and that therefore he's entitled to, to, to travel um, on the, the public streets without this license. Sir, do you have any comment? Couldn't have said it any better myself, Chris. Thanks. <laughs> well, you know, KingCast.net, we do what we can. <laughs> no, but they're uh, going to drag me back in in another two weeks, and uh, I'm afraid, like you said, uh, they got me in limbo, and they might want to keep on doing this, but at some point they got to run out of patience, so I, or I will run out of patience. I'm not sure which. I think, you know, I'm trying to establish my status as a peaceful inhabitant, not engaged in commerce, not uh, desiring or needing any privileges from the state, and certainly travel is uh, a God-given right that um, I don't need to have a license for. I understand your position, sir. Uh, I have some issues regarding insurance and this and that and the other, but that's my own, you know, my own personal thing. I understand your argument. And have, have you forwarded uh, some of the information? I know Rod Class is doing a lot of work on that down, on that down south. There, have been, uh, there has been significant movement in his case. And uh, I don't know if you forwarded those materials to the court here or not. Uh, no, as a matter of fact, though, I do have them in my file today. And uh, I was thinking about, you know, the opportunity, if it came up, of presenting that material, yes. Well, very well, sir. Uh, we'll be in touch with you shortly. And uh, that's a wrap. KingCast.net. All right. I feel like I'm going to throw up again.